right, here we go. Hmm. We might have some challenging pricing today. Why are there upside down angels? Why? What is what is happening here? I don't understand this at all. All right, we made it. Now their lucky cards are these little guys. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. I just heard while I was at another Goodwill that one of my favorite managers has been moved to a Goodwill that I don't come to very often. Generally, the music's a little on the loud side, so I'm crossing my fingers that they've got that fixed today. But if not, we'll make the best of it, as usual. And we're gonna see what we can find on those shelves. So let's get in there. Let's get shop done. All right, here we go. Let's see how loud that music is. Oh, it doesn't sound horrible. So, oh, that is not a lucky cart because that one doesn't roll. This one's probably the lucky cart, because it rolls. Right inside the door is their purses. So I am going to take a peek here first. Look at that Snoopy. That is a cute Snoopy. It's a newer, cheaper one though. Not super exciting. I don't know who Ringo is. Who is Ringo? He's awful cute. Original by Sharif. Sharif. It's got an animal print inside. Six ninety nine. That's kind of a cute little purse with a like a little tiger print on it. I don't know anything about this brand, but you know what? I kind of like the. Uh, I kind of like the tiger print and the price is right. Something over here that's got an interesting look, but when I touch it, it's it's got a really strange feel to it. It does not feel like very good quality. I don't know what that is all about. Jessica Simpson. Well, I think that's all we're going to do in the purses today. All right, the music's still a little loud. I think that is just because they have a lot of speakers in this store too, so hopefully my little microphone behaves and uh, we get away with not having to adjust anything as we come over here to the little tchotchke shelves. It's a little vintage guy. He's cute, but he's nothing super special. Pretty little teacup. Oh, our color is orange. I know, I forgot to show it, but our color is orange still. Interesting little apple and pear with a little basket weave. They are newer though, kind of like a home goods kind of product. Mind Blown Studio. Unfortunately, it is missing one of the leaves. You can see the original price on that was $40. That's an interesting looking base right there. I know it's not old. It's made in India. Um, it's $10, but it's just got a really unique, cool decorator look. I like it. $5.99 on the cobalt blue dessert glass. Oh, lots of red tags. Never a good sign when we see all these red tags. Must be gearing up for their red tag sale. That's usually when you start seeing all the red tags coming out. Who are you? Selena Kyle? I don't know Selena Kyle. 
kind of cards are these? Baseball. Don't know a thing about baseball cards. Pretty little cross. It's resin. It's a spoon teaks. That's interesting because I thought spoon teaks only did pewter. It's 20 bucks. $10 on the coasters in their little holder. Hmm. We might have some challenging pricing today. We just have to hunt a little harder to find that something special. I'm up for a good challenge, always. that piece of, it could be a Reuben. Not, no, this is just a frosted depression. It is not. Those are painted on there as opposed to being part of the glass. On Reuben glass, it's actually in the glass making itself. Yep, you can't do 10 on that one. It's pretty though. Let's see what you are. If anything, nothing. Signature. I have sold that little daisy dish before. Actually, really, I like it. It's not worth a whole lot, but I do really like this pattern. I'm thinking about getting it for one of my projects. It would make a cute little assemblage, wouldn't it? I think I am. I think I will. I'll get it. Oh, I have this actually sitting by my TV. This cool little candle holder. I just like the look of it. This one is 10. There's another one. Oops, there's another one over here with candles in it for 10. No, I don't use it for candles. I put little um, crystal spheres in it. Maybe if I remember, I will show you at the end of this video what that looks like. Because it's kind of cool. It's kind of fun. Little elephant. Ooh, it's eight dollars. All right. We may be getting out of here without buying too much. Stop, stop. Do not whatever that says, I think put out before and these are 2021 Hallmark ornaments. Do oh, do not open. Do not put on shelf before July 30th. These are holiday Barbies. Look, they still have that on them. That's pretty incredible. I'm not really a, a Barbie fan. We will leave those for somebody who is. I'm sure they will get a kick out of those. That's kind of a cool candle holder. Now, I have been told what these leaves are about a, a thousand times. Is it a Jinko leaf? Jinko? Something like that. Something J something, right? Ten bucks. Darn it. Let's look at the tiki mugs. They are not from anywhere in particular, which kind of makes them a lower value tiki mug, but they are interesting colors. They just, they look so contemporary that I just don't even think $4 is a great price. I'm going to leave them. Let's see what else we can find. We are in kind of the holiday section, but there's a little pottery southwest kind of thing. It's not very well done though, but it is over here misplaced. That's why we look in every single section. Things go everywhere in this store. Has a nice look to it, but it's nothing too exciting. Another interesting piece, but for six dollars, well, I'm not really into taking a chance on that one. Hobby piece. So kind of like piano babies. They are older. They've got the felt. Somebody peeled that felt off. 
can't see what that red tag says, but it's 10 bucks. So they're 10 bucks a piece. Not really worth it for me. Hmm. And yes, thank you for teaching me that this is not red temptations, that this is, um, oh gosh, you told me, you told me, like a burgundy or mulberry or something. Now, this one is only $5. I don't know that I've ever seen the paper towel holder. So I may, I may pick this up because it's kind of a different piece. It's definitely Temptations. It's not cracked or anything. I'm not sure why that's still here, but I'll take it for five bucks. Oh look, it's got a friend. We will reunite them. Right there. Hmm. Let's see. It's a pretty blue, but it's, again, nothing special. How special are you? You're not even marked, so we have no idea how special you are. Whether to know whether $8 is acceptable or not. Why are there upside down angels? Why? What is, what is happening here? I don't understand this at all. I found a little bird for Rachel to paint, and after she paints it, if she wants to sell it, she can. That's a fun little cup. It's only a dollar. Again, I'm looking for things to make my little assemblage projects. I feel like that would make a fun one. Somebody else was looking at the bottom of these canisters. It says Whole Home. It was $3.99 for this little guy. Not super exciting. Trying to look like a Mexican pottery, but it's definitely not. Got some Mikasa tea light holders. Pretty little nest guy. Hummingbird Garden, 1998, licensed by Arts Unique. Unfortunately, it is $7.99. Oh, look at the hummingbird. Oh, he's so sweet. But nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, look how tiny you are. Hmm. Cute little piece of pottery man their their prices are a little uh, up there I do have to say this is a wonders of the wild 24% lead crystal it's 13 20 dollars for the little Tiffany style glass shades ten dollars on the pumpkin six dollars on this guy goodness got a little homemade frog I don't know what this is for is he just decorative he's 10 bucks too well we're not going to be getting so much at these prices let's see what this is oh this is $12.99 nope you can stay there be kind that's a nice uh, little men's um, caddy. I don't know that you would call it a jewelry box for men. I'm not sure it's worth the $30 I would need to get for it to be able to pick that up and have it make a profit. We've got some ornaments in a box. It's a Naughty Kitty, no, it's a Naughty Kitty cat toy gift set. That's what that is. Hmm. This is a little piece of Bavarian porcelain. It's kind of sweet with the daisies. Again, this would make another cute little assemblage holder. For just $2.99, this one will pick up. Oh, love that. I didn't get everything done in one day either. God. <laughs> Look at this tree. I like this a lot. I know it's $15, but this I absolutely love. Got a little 
girl holding a puppy, $8, and she is really not good quality. Bamboo. Sushi mats. Don't need bamboo sushi mats. Nice little candle holders. Those are vintage. Those could be cleaned up really nice. I clean up these candle holders by putting this, looks like somebody might have done it already too. You put it in the freezer and it hardens up all the candle residue. And then you usually can just pop it out of there. The wood itself seems like it's in pretty good condition. A little coat of oil on those, they would uh, sparkle right up. All right, $2.99 each, we'll grab those. A fish for $12.99. Hmm. Is it? Is that an anthropology letter back here? Nope. I can tell once I put my hands on it. It is not. It's a wannabe. The anthropology ones are a little bit on the puffy side. You can feel the quality of them when they're in your hands. The moose is kind of cool, but that's not even real wood. It's just a faux wood sign. All right, let's look over here and see. Oh, a little red barren plane. He's kind of cool, but he's missing his propeller. Beaded basket with starfish in there. Let's see what you are. Kind of fancy. Made in India. It's ten bucks. It doesn't super excite me. This is made to look old. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's just made. It's vintage inspired. It's got a barcode down there on the bottom from Kirkland's. If that had been the real thing. That would have been a nice find. It's hard to find the real thing these days. They're out there. You just gotta dig a little harder for them now. Camels? Camels. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately that music is super loud. Okay, this matches the one I found the other day, only this one's a Nambe. Same design on the handle though, but can't do 15. It's kind of a cool piece. The glasses in it. It's this one over here. It says something under there, but six bucks does not excite me. Let's see what this piece is. A little etched. Also looks to be made in India. Oh, it's Godinger. Nope, I was wrong. It's Godinger Silver from 1991, but they do want $13 for that. 25 on that. Oh my goodness. Where did I walk into? I don't know if it's just the part of town that the store's in that where they kind of determine some of this pricing, but I am definitely in a little sticker shock. These are all cute. I mean, they're newer, contemporary, and they're $10 each. They're from Pro Flowers. They're just super cute. That looks like something I have seen at Ikea. That would be cool if it had the stopper, but he doesn't have a stopper. Newer. Little cased glass. Nothing too special. $12.99. I would pick this up for like $4 or $5.99. I generally don't come back to the half price sales either. It's just too crowded for me. That's broken. All right, we will keep moving on. Oh, you're interesting. What are you? Look at that. Why do I like that? That's kind of that's kind of cool and groovy, huh? But it's a newer piece. 
And we have succulents. A little succulent gardening kind of a dude. All right, we'll take a little trip down the plastic. Some watermelon melamine plates from Tarhong. Hmm, those are awful cute. Five bucks for four plates. They're so refreshing. I don't need them though, I don't need them. Okay, let's see what else I don't need. <laughs> oh. oh wow, that's like a big sculpture. Like Noah has a small one like that. I don't know if that's meant to be like a wine rack or just a sculpture. It's not very sturdy. Alright, and let's see anything else here. Little etched stemless wine glasses. Yes, that speaker is right over my head. I may have moments of needing to uh, just take out the audio, depending on how loud it is coming through the computer. We'll see how good this little microphone is at keeping it away. Pretty little gold rimmed glasses. Some of them are pretty faded though. Not in great shape. Let's see what we've got over in the mugs. Oh, Aquarium of the Pacific. But the first thing I saw in there was the little axolotl. I feel like Rachel would really like that mug. I'm going to grab it for her. <laughs> Keep calm and let the marketing department handle it. That's kind of funny. I don't see anything exciting down here except maybe another... I just got her a plant lady mug. I just got her one. Can't get her another one. These are kind of nice little German wine glasses, but they are $4 each. We'll have to leave those this time. Well, when I do love all the black stemware, again, $4 each. No discount. And what Goodwill store would be complete right now without a selection of this noodle <laughs> stuff? It's just kind of hideous. I mean, come on. Ugh, don't like it. That was, I don't know, that was just a bad design and bad buying for any stores that were the ones responsible for getting that and then having to donate it all to Goodwill when it didn't sell. Cute little uh, billiards plates. I wonder if the original set had uh, all of the balls. Those would be fun. I don't think just having three of them is worth much. What are you? You are not marked. And you don't feel old. These little bowls are fun. Little travel design. Oh, they're Williams Sonoma. 2008. They are $10 though. See, again, that would be like a five or six. I'd be all over it. 10 is kind of like that number where I go, meh. Do I really need it for 10? pretty. 15. It's um, Old Foley, James Kent, Staffordshire, England. Nope. Not for 15. Hmm. What is happening right now? $12.99 on the Teleflora teapot, which is really adorable. But I see some Stangle. A little Stangle Creamer for $6. Little fish cup. I wish the whole set was there. 
Wow, look at all these pictures. Kimberly Hodges. <gasps> we sold one of those. We had one of those at the Good Stuff store. We did indeed. We sold it in a whatnot sale, which is where I now sell a lot of this stuff. I have whatnot sales now every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific time. I'm getting pretty consistent. So I hope you'll come check it out. Look in the first comment of this video and you'll see a link to go claim $15 to come and spend over on whatnot. And just, you know, have some fun, hang out. There's a cool chat. These are also Williams Sonoma for $6. So we will leave those too. Hmm. Snow Globe Salt and Peppers. Again, pretty fantastic, but I can't pay 10 bucks for them. Can't do it. It would not be responsible resale buying if I did that. Let's look in the cookery. Oh, that's a beautiful piece for 20. It is not marked. It's not super high quality. It's, you know, so it's not like a, a Meissen or a Dresden. It's just nice. It's uh, probably something I might now. It's a little bigger than I would want to deal with and a little bit of a hassle factor in shipping. So I probably wouldn't pick that up. All right, we're over in the office supply slash crafting stuff. We will see if there's anything we can't live without here. Crystal growing lab. Hmm. Kind of stuff needs to be fun to do. I don't know what these are. Are they drapery ties? Like they're stiff. I thought they were like cuckoo clock hangers, but they're fabric. I don't know. They got a, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know. You know. Sometimes things just baffle me. Oh, I like this paper. I like this paper a lot. Is this like drawer lining paper? I think it probably is. There's not a whole lot of it left either. Friendship bracelet kit. Yeah, there's the top to it. $5.99. Got our lamp section over here. And there is nothing super enticing. And uh, no cool shades either. All right, we've got some more Mishy Mashy stuff to go through. You gotta look because this is where you just never know what's gonna be in here. And we got bathroom stuff. Don't discount the bathroom stuff. Some bathroom stuff can sell for some pretty good money. And it's where you could possibly find a nice glass candle holder mixed in, thinking it's something else. Okay. Text jobs to 99001. Sporting good stuff. Monkeys jumping on the bed. Oh, we used to play this game. Memories. All right, let's take a peek through the art. Never know what's going to be in here. Look, that's got some real little uh, turquoise down there, although one looks like it's loose fallen. That could be easily fixed though. It's a Tessidre though. 1993. Oh, it's $7.99. See, at my other store, that would be like $3.99. I don't know what's going on here. Don't understand it. Hmm. I feel like I want to do an experiment and stop by the boutique store on the way home and look at the prices there. Because <laughs> that's supposed to be like the bougie store with all the, you know, higher end stuff. I haven't gone there in a while. They've probably changed managers by now. I didn't really get along with the one that was there before. Fishies. 
So I just stayed away. Because we have so many Goodwills in this town, you can pick your favorites. I'm kind of skimming through the large art. I do see a Disney item sticking out here. I'm doing a Disney whatnot sale actually on next Sunday. I'm part of a whole Disney train, they're calling it. That's going to be at 6 p.m. Pacific time next Sunday. I'm a princess. I try to be kind. I try to be generous. I am kind even when others are not so generous. I believe compassion makes me strong. Kindness is power and friendship is the tightest bond of all. I have heard I am beautiful. I know I am strong. I am a princess. Long may I reign. That's kind of a sweet sentiment. I wonder if I should put that in my sale. I don't see a price though. So I wonder how much it will be if I take that up to the register. Well, I'm going to grab it. Look through here at feathers. Kind of cool. But it's not signed. It's almost like a piece of hotel art. It's what we call that around here. My favorite thing to make for dinner is reservations. I don't, I don't eat out very often. I like eating out. But I uh, don't tend to do it too much. I usually just do it like when friends come to town. Hmm. Nope, I don't see anything else here. I do see some interesting things poking out from the pillows, like a squishmallow? Squishmallow in the pillows, yes. Priced at $6.99. Yeah, unfortunately, we're not finding good deals on the Squishmallows anymore. We've got a Disney baby support. I'm looking for a few more Disney things I can add to that whatnot sale. I've got, right now, I've got mugs and figurines. And I'm trying to think what's in my Disney stash. I've been stashing Disney stuff for a while. I've got quite a bit. What is that? It is a... It's a spaceman sitting on a rocket. There's like a whole series, like this one just says, hi. This one, he's floating around. And then this one, he's doing a selfie from the moon. Okay, that's kind of fabulous. But they're not tagged or anything as to who done them. And they are six bucks each. See ya peacock feather pillow but it's a real cheap one We've got a doggy that looks like one of those ones that you send in the picture and they make it for you that's two can art Let's see what you are who are you what are you <gasps> you're a squirrel with a scarf you're kind of adorable but you are $7.99 I'd be happier at about $4.99. All right. Found some pillows. I'm just not into paying that price. Mini so. Hmm. All right. No pillows for us today. All right. Let's see what the toy section looks like. She's a trick or treating mini mouse. Twenty twenty Disney store. Ooh, who are you? Little one eyed dog. I don't know who you are. Do you know who he is? Ha ha ha! It's Elmo! But you know what? He's not coming home with me. Oh a ducks? Oh my gosh, look at that. He is so grimy. He's probably worth something, but he needs so much cleanup. And that's uh just not in my agenda. Charlie Brown. Are you a Coles? Yeah, you're a Coles, Charlie Brown. Oh, you're a very you look like Pigpen instead of Charlie Brown. Alright, we'll look on the other side here. I am not holding out a lot of hope of finding too much though. Here, a little homemade bear. 
Yeah, what do we got in there? Who are you? Custom... Something custom motorcycles. Oh, it's a bar. It's a toy. It's a toy. All right. I meant it was a dog toy, just FYI. <laughs> that just that one word didn't come out of my mouth. Uh, I found this for Rachel. She loves to do origami, and she will make something fabulous with these little dudes. I just found this. I didn't even know there was a Nightmare Before Christmas Trivial Pursuit Edition. 400 questions, collector's edition. It's, uh, how much? $5.99. Gosh, I don't like that, but you know what? I love that. Okay, I think that's it for this store. I think I will head over to the boutique, so we're not signing off quite yet. Let's go in there and see what we can find. It's on my way home. And then after that, we'll do a recap. Well, that was an interesting checkout experience. Um, I did get the Disney print for $4.99, but she literally wrapped everything on top of that. So now it's got like some little dents in it that were not there before. But such is life at going to the Goodwill, right? And she almost picked off one of the rhinestones. Like literally I had to tell her, please stop. Because she was picking the rhinestone off of the picture, waiting for the manager to get the price. Oh my goodness. Okay. We are off and running. We are going to go stop at the boutique, which is right on my way home. And we're going to just do a little price comparison compared to a regular Goodwill and then the boutique Goodwill. And also see what goodies we can find. All right, let's get over there and get shop done. All right, we made it. Now their lucky carts are these little guys. I wish you could fit a lot in these. See, everything's up on top here. Oh, shell dishes. So the orange tags work here too. And I love these little shell dishes for just five bucks. Set of four. What are you guys? Cow and a pig. Salt and pepper shakers for $9.99. So I'm seeing a lot of stuff with $9.99 on it which uh, was kind of what we saw at the last store. But then there's also lots of orange tags, which could save the day. Be a $5 bunny. He's not super exciting to me though. It's this little guy, just a little box. Okay. This caught my eye because I just bought some smaller bowls that match this. Now it's just one of those kind of faux goofus glass kind of things. Uh, but this is also only $5. I may keep this as a cool decorative piece. What are you guys? $12.99. But you're not signed. Got a little owl covering his face. He looks like a home goods kind of guy. Little sleeping kitty shelf sitters. I wish I were my cat. That is seven ninety nine. Hmm. Look at these chihuahuas. Oh, they're salt and peppers. Oh my goodness! But they're seven ninety nine. They are clay art. They're pretty amazing. But I would guess I could sell these for like twelve to fifteen dollars. So can't pay eight. Pretty Asian pottery, not for food use. It's a newer piece. $12.99. Little carved marble guy. $12.99. So their prices are actually like, you know, boutique prices. Um, but the store we were just at had the same prices. So that kind of tells you something. So I keep reaching back to get my cart and uh, missing it. Oh, look at that flower clock. Now is that vintage? And is it really $42? Oh my goodness. I don't think it's vintage. Wow, these are all quite pricey. These are kind of cool. Two piece set. They look like Mexican glass. So it was 15, but they're orange tags. So they're 750 for the set of two. They're not super high dollar, but they have a really super interesting decorative look. 
and I think $7.50 is the right price. Oh my gosh, look at this candle holder mouse. It's 10 bucks though. He has solid brass. It's pretty fabulous, but I can't pay 10 bucks for him. Darn it. All right, I don't think I have this one, or maybe I do. He's like a flower frog. He's not, he's a 2015, he's not old. I don't know, maybe I will sell him in one of my sales. Oh, and look, I just found more of these. So I found another four of the shell dishes for five bucks. This Egyptian chair, $7.99. That's really cool. I don't know much about it though. This has caught my eye. What are you? You're like a Pokeball birdhouse. That's kind of amazing. <laughs> Actually, the unique garden decor, it was $27 is what they were selling it for, but now it's $12.99 and it's dented. Darn it. No can do. Let's see what cool little kitchen things we've got. Who are you? Made in Italy. It's a set of five for $12.99. Hmm. They look older. I don't see a price on any of those. Wait, there's the price, $12.99. But it doesn't say it's for the set. I'm imagining it is, but... It's still, they're not exciting enough to pick up, but maybe a Dumbo mug. Oh no, he's $10. $10 on the Dumbo mug. Okay, I don't think we're going to pick anything up on this section. found this really pretty cobalt blue pitcher. I'd rather it not be $10, but I think I'm okay at $10. It's really pretty. That's kind of a cool piece. I think it's meant to hold a bowl. Made in India. $10. Those are some really pretty candle holders. I can tell they're not very high quality though just the feel of them and then you get closer and the finish isn't very good either. These caught my attention. I think they're wood. They are wood. And they are also orange tags so just five bucks for those stylish candle holders. Oh my. This is all stuff that they have purchased. That's what the yellow tag is. This is this is new merchandise that they have curated from a wholesaler. Because all of this is the same style. And then it's yellow tagged. I found another little turtle, a little purple glass. For six bucks, we'll grab him. This bird planner is pretty fabulous, but it's not old. It's new. Oh, I wonder if they got a bunch of the uh, Tuesday morning stuff from them closing down. It makes me very sad. I love shopping Tuesday mornings. That's a pretty vase for $6.50, but I'm gonna leave it. Seems like their little table color is purple, but this bird kind of called me over. He's $8. I think the fact that he's a bird and he's glass and he's purple makes it so I can go ahead and pay that. Look at this tea set. Oh my goodness, department 56. I don't know who these little people are. What is the theme? I mean, it's a carriage. I'm trying to figure out the story it's uh, trying to tell. I don't know. I don't know. I may have to look this one up. Okay, I'm looking through the purses and I found an orange tag, which is half price. It's a little Betsy Johnson, pink and black. Cute as a button, clean as can be for $7.50. Just when I was getting ready to go check out, I found six pieces of this tiara glass in the emerald green. Just nice little pieces. Uh, $5 for all of it. Grabbing that too. This store I have to like do several pass throughs. This is a pair of Fontanini. It is uh, Mary and Joseph. I wish we had baby Jesus with this, but you know what? Look at the size of these. These are substantial Fontanini pieces. Uh, it's $15 for the set. I'm going to grab those too. 
Okay, stay tuned for the recap of both stores that I've been to. I'm going to tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. It's coming up right now. actually pretty fun. I found a couple of pairs of pants for myself. That's the thing I do like about the boutique store is I like shopping the clothes. I don't get overwhelmed. It's already been curated with the better stuff from the stores and uh, I usually find a piece or two that is uh, good for me to wear. And uh, I ended up, oh, I ended up getting a lounge fly Disney backpack purse that was behind the counter that I didn't even show you, but if you wanna see it, come to my Disney only whatnot sale, which is gonna be next Sunday, the 21st at 6 p.m. Pacific time, and you will see the Disney goodness there. All right, until then, and uh, as always, go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.